I am LBJ Aklan, Bachelor of Science in Education, major in Science. This is my teaching demonstration in new normal situation. Hello, grade 7 student. Face yourself first before opening your camera, and I will give you 5 minutes, 5 seconds rather, to do it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, open your camera. Okay, everyone are ready to our class today. But before that, but before we formally start our discussion, let us pray to be led by Mr. Benavent Kula. Amen. Good morning, class. How are you today? Good? Very good? Okay. Everyone is ready to listen our discussion and participate our activity for this morning. But before that, let's check our attendance for today. Abaliko, present. Sueco, present. Okay, very good. Everyone is pres present in this morning. Before my discussion, I have here an activity in order for you to answer this class. So, I have here a 1 to 7 scrambled letter. You should rearrange the letter in the correct order to making it a word. So, give me a number. 11. Mr. David, what is number 1? Uh-huh. Let's check it after. Atmosphere. Maybe. Number 2. Temperature. Okay. Number three. No. No. Greenhouse. Okay. Number four. Oh, it's really hard. No. You know this class. Global warming. Number four. And uh, number five, rather. Deforestation. Number six, climate change. And number seven, okay, flood. The next, next. So, everyone, correct the word. Number one, atmosphere. Number two, temperature. Number three, greenhouse. Number four, global warming. Number five, this deforestation, water. Number six, climate change. And number seven, blood. So those seven letters are connected to our lesson today. So I have a question. When we say greenhouse effect, what comes in your mind class? Hmm. What comes in your mind? Do you have an idea about it? So greenhouse effect, uh-huh. Protection to our earth, maybe. Another question. What do you think is the effect of global warming on earth? Or what the effect of global warming to the human like us? So these two questions will be answered in our discussion. Next, so objective. At the end of the lesson, the student will able to recognize what are the effect of greenhouse effect in global warming and other environments. Learn to appreciate more the things that surround us and discuss how those human activities contribute or to lessen ozone depletion and global warming. So these objectives that we should met after the discussion. The next, let's have an activity. So class, prepare the materials that I assigned you to bring yesterday. And what is, what is it? Okay, the green construction paper and the red construction paper. So raise your green construction paper. So that green construction paper is presented to true. So raise your green construction paper if the statement is right. Red construction paper is presented as false. And you need to do is raise your red construction paper if the statement is wrong. And this is individual scores class. So number one, greenhouse gases or 
our GFG Act, Act, Act. Greenhouse gases, GSGS, act like a blanket in the atmosphere, trapping heat and warming the planet. It is green. Is it green or red? Greenhouse gases act like a blanket in the atmosphere, trapping heat and warming the planet. Is it green or red? One, two, three, up! Oh, I can see that majority of you are raising the green construction paper or the green color. So the answer is true. Very good. The, the next number. The following gases are nitrous oxide, H CH4, rather, H2O, and CFC. Is it green or red? One, two, three, up! It's true. So, wrong, wrong. Better luck next time. Number three statement. Climate change refers only to the increase in temperature of the Earth's surface. Is it green or red? One, two, three, up. The answer is false. White glass. So climate change is not only refers to increasing of temperature, but also decreasing the temperature of the Earth's surface. Number four statement. Without the human race, GSG would not exist. Is it green or red? One, two, three, up! The answer is false. So, without human, human race, yes, she would not exist. No, it's not true. Because GSG still exists without Heat 
Is it right or wrong? The answer is one, two, three, up. The answer is true. It's correct. Let's start our discussion. So our the questions the question before is what is greenhouse effect and what is the effect of global warming in our lives. So today that two questions will be answered in our discussion. So what is greenhouse effect? So greenhouse effect, so as you can see in our picture, it looks like a house covering or protecting our earth or our shelter. So the greenhouse effect is a natural process. When we say natural process that warms the earth's surface when the sun's energy reaches the earth's atmosphere. Some of it is reflected back to space and the rest is absorbed and re-radiated by greenhouse gases. So, greenhouse effect is the protection from the light of the sun through the earth. And it, it gives warmth the earth's surface. And the absorbed energy warms the atmosphere and the surface of the earth. That's why class greenhouse effect is really essential for us or for our shelter earth. Next one, global warming. So global warming, it is already changing climate change around the globe, causing stronger typhoons and creating many health problems. So that Global warming is really pro our problem, our main problem in our earth today. Global warming causing stronger typhoons, just like a storm, disaster that we can control, human, but also, but but also, it is creating many health-related problems, just like stroke. No. Stroke is came from the heat of the sun because of the global warming or destroying our environment. Next. So I have here another activity in order for you to answer. Answer the following question. So class, get one half sheet of paper and answer the following question. Number one question, what is the greenhouse effect and global warming? Number two, what are the benefits of greenhouse effect and global warming and disadvantage? Number three, what are the human needs that can increase the greenhouse effect and global warming? And number four, what are the human needs that can reduce the greenhouse effect and global warming? And I will give you five minutes to answer this. Next question, and next so, class, we have, or I will show you as steps to reduce global warming. So I know some of you, I know some of you are familiar with those words or with those steps to reduce the global warming. So number one step, step is plant more trees. There are some organization that can really love to plant more trees or organization that care our environment. So, reduce, reuse, recycle. Number three, use less hot water. In order for you not to get stroke from heat from the sunlight or the sun, Turn off electronic devices when, when it's used or spread awareness. Spread awareness about the global warming. Spread awareness how can we as a human help our environment. Next. So those words that we encounter in our activity are connected to our topic for this morning and it's all about the greenhouse effect all of these are connected to our topic today the temperature the weather the flood the drought deforestation pollution ozone 
layer. Next. So temperature. Temperature is the earth temperature. It's always in the right range to support life. So temperature is really important in our, in us class, in you. So because it supports life, it supports our breath, it supports how we live in the earth. Next, weather. Weather, can you read? Okay, it is a state of atmosphere at place in the regards heat, dryness, dryness, sunshine, wind, and rain. So that is the weather. So, oh, um, Kim, Mr. Kim always say weather, weather lang. The weather is not consistent or constant because it is, it always change according to the temperature. Next, Drought. Drought is when rainfall is less than the normal for a period of weeks to years. So this drought is the sample of our global warming. When global warming is there, so drought is the sample for that. Rainfall is less than the normal for a period of weeks to years. The next one is deforestation. I know some of you are familiar with the deforestation right so it is permanent removal of trees the loss of trees and other vegetation can cause climate change because some of people are always cutting trees for the product of human but of course class trees is important because without trees, we have no, um, what we call, shelter. Because it's used also in shelter. But before you cut the trees, we need to replace it another. Okay, the next, pollution. So pollution is a substance that is harmful or has a poisonous effect in human and environment. So what is the example of pollution? Okay, very good. The car or the, um, what we call the company that produce the gas. Not, because we all know that pollution is very, very harmful in our environment or us a human. Next. <clears throat> so, I have you a good question. What are the reasons of climate change? So, human bad activity. Bad activity, when we say bad, it's all for human and is the main cause of climate change like too much burning of fossil fuels. So, burning of fossil fuels or burning a plastic bag is some uh, cause of having a climate change, of destroying our greenhouse effect, or to be led by, or what we call some factors that can destroy our environment. So, humans bad activity. So, how can we protect greenhouse from carbon dioxide? But simply use three R's. What are the three R's? Reduce, reuse, recycle. Next. So, back. Stop, stop. So, number one, answer the following question. It's multiple choice. So now multiple choice, one, two, three. The four to nine is size of the factors that can cause global warming. And the 10 to 15, as a student, how will you care our surroundings? So back, our one, two, three. So answer this in five minutes. So five.
pass your paper via messenger after the hour class. So, I have you a question class. So, as a student, how will you protect the environment? As you class, grade 7 student, how will you protect our place, our shelter, the place that we will live? So how will you protect our environment? Patricia, uh -huh. very good. Save water. So Miss Gomez, a oh, very good. Save water. Okay. Save electricity. Oh, put your garbage in a right way. Use. Ah, oh, do not use plastic. All okay. the words that you said are correct. So some of you, all of you, are listening to my discussion. So. How will you protect the environment? First, number one, save water, save electricity, use reusable bags, don't use plastic, avoid taking cars as much as possible, plus exercise. You need to walk too. And growing more trees and plants, reducing pollution and saving natural, natural resources. Next, so, that is our topic for this morning about the greenhouse effect. So, I have here our assignment and you need to pass this via Gmail. So, our assignment is look around you, see the situation of our earth right now. Draw it in the long band paper. Document yourself by doing this activity and send it via Gmail. And this is my Gmail class. And these are those criteria in order for you to know what you are gonna do in your your drawing. You need to um, what we call that. Explain this to me. And also, yes, that is a criteria. What? Explain your drawing. So don't forget, send it via Gmail, and this is my Gmail. You can SS it or screenshot. Okay, class. Okay, that's all for today, class. See you and God bless. Thank you. Okay, turn off your camera up now. Bye-bye.